Hey, Scorpio. What's up, Scorp? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus, or whatever you guys have Scorpio in your chart. Do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Scorpios. But if it does, share your girls some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Alrighty. Um, and if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Don't forget, y'all, tarot class starts in 15 days. Yes. So if you guys would love to learn tarot with me, all the information is in the description box below. Also pinned in the comments. Or you guys can head over to my online store, mytearshavehealmyheart.com, and sign up for tarot class. Alrighty. So let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. Alrighty. We're just going to look into your person. You know, look at their current energy to see how they feel about you and all that good stuff, okay? So let's see, Scorpio, what is your person's current energy towards you? Right, let's see what your current energy is. I mean, their current energy towards you. Uh oh, justice in reverse. Okay. So let's see, Scorpio. Could be a Libra or a Virgo you guys are dealing with. Alright, but. They, okay, so what I'm, let's clarify. So what I'm getting so far is this person is lying about wanting to be in a committed relationship. They're lying about wanting to be in a relationship. So let's see. Scorpio. Yeah, see, they're lying. They got you believing that they want to be in a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. And I do see at one point in time, they did want to be in a relationship. But for some reason, they're not ready to be. Maybe you guys, I don't know what it is that you guys are wanting. It seems like there's something that you want that they're not willing to give. Or maybe, you know, they change their mind. It looks like they had a change of heart. Like they're changing their mind about wanting to be in a relationship. Scorpio, let's see. Yep, see, not a cut in the words. So, so for some of you guys, this looks like somebody that you guys reconnected with, and. They, okay, so you guys are, you know, you guys are, you guys reconnected, sorry. But even though y'all reconnected, like something doesn't feel right. And they're just not sure if they want this relationship. They're not sure if they want to be back together. This could be how you're feeling. Keep in mind the rating could be interchangeable. Um, let's go into the hermit because somebody's going to change their mind. They're definitely changing their mind about being in a relationship. Let's see the hermit. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles and you guys. Not sure, yeah. This person just feels like right now is not the right time for you guys to be together. Right now is just not the time. You know, like the timing is off. The timing isn't right. Um, they did want to get back together, but now they don't. They changed their mind. It's not really telling me why they changed their mind. But we do have the Four of Wands in reverse that flipped out. 
Um, it could be family, friends. It could be people around them. It could be that your family doesn't like them. Their family doesn't like you. You know, something like that. Maybe they got family or friends involved. Or maybe you guys put people in between your relationship. And people are saying certain things to them. Like, oh, I should get back together. Remember what they did. Remember what happened. Maybe that can be you that is saying that. You know, um, but somebody um, is, I wouldn't say in their head. But let me see why this four wands is in reverse. It could be like their mother. The Empress came out. It could be a Libra or a Taurus. It could be their mother, their sister, somebody they look up to, somebody they talk to. It can be like an ex, like the mother of their child, something like that. But somebody could be telling them not to get back with you. Somebody that doesn't really care for you. You know, um, sorry guys, give me one second. Sorry, y'all. All right, yeah, sorry. My son, he has a doctor's appointment. His teacher was texting me to see it, what time I wanted to send him to the front office because um, he left his note at home. I know y'all don't care, but I'm sharing anyway. All right, so let's see. Um, how does this person feel about you, Scorpio? See, and that's weird because it's like, this person is kind of like, okay, I do want to get back together. But then they're like, should I just move forward? Should we move forward? So it, it must be family or friends or somebody that doesn't want to see all together. Because like the energy definitely has shifted here. Over here, it's like they changed their mind. They had a change of heart. You know, it could have been due to somebody else. Now, for some of you guys, this empress could be a pregnancy that you guys don't know about from somebody else. You know, because it is the empress. And when you guys were broken up or separated, there could be a pregnancy that you guys are going to find out about. But they still want to work things out with you. But then they feel like you may not want to get back with them due to this pregnancy. Let's go into this empress. Why is the empress here? Go into the empress. Mm, yeah, see, somebody did something. For some of you guys, they slipped up. They didn't use protection. And there could be a possible pregnancy. Yep, and they feel like with the Three of Pentacles universe, you definitely wouldn't want to work things out with them if you found out about some type of pregnancy for some of you guys if they could have got somebody pregnant that they already like have a child with or somebody that was a problem or issue between you guys all right let's see what this three of pentacles is here for um how they feel about you so yeah so this person was coming towards you wanting to talk wanting to you know get back together but then something like changed all of a sudden. Their energy shifted. Let me see. This is them coming back in apologizing. The devil. So what changed? Why is the devil here? See, they just, they feel like they'll be going into this relationship. Uh, like it will be a lie. Like they, they feel like they can't hide this behind your back or lie or play you or do what they're doing. It has to do with somebody else, you know, three of swords. Like I said, it's not somebody that I see them currently with right now, but I see that this was somebody that they were with and something happened in that situation or they got with somebody that I feel like was a problem or issue for you guys, got back with somebody, did something, you know, it also talks about news and communication that came in that was heartbreaking, the Knight of Cups, three of swords. So they could have found something out or heard something. And it just changed everything. And then let me, I'm going to, um, after I clarify this, I'm going to ask about the family. Why is this, um, yep, see, for some of you guys, somebody is telling them to let this go. You know, you weren't happy before. Why are you wasting your time? Don't go back. Cut them off in things. There's definitely a female in their ear that has a, somebody that has a strong influence over them. Could be a Leo, could be a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. Somebody that has, like, yeah, somebody that definitely has a strong influence over them. Or they just really listen to this person. Um, let me see how their family, is this family and how their family feels? Does their family not like you guys? So, somebody in their family or whoever you guys, um, whoever they had you guys around liked you at first, Right? 
But I feel like with the nine of wands, like all this stuff that y'all been through, it's kind of not that they don't like you. I just feel like y'all just been through so much and I feel like they just don't care for you as much as they did. I feel like that can change though because the sun is here. So I feel like if they once really liked you and they were talking to you and, oh, let's hang out, let's do this. It's like that may come back around because the sun is here with the world card, but it's like just all the stuff y'all been through. Somebody is just tired and I feel like this person just doesn't want to be in the middle, doesn't want to be involved. They rather just keep to themselves and not be in between what y'all got going on. Yeah. I also see that if this is like a mother or a sibling or somebody that was close to them that you talked to or was getting to know, they were telling you like, you know, you sure you want to get into this. And even if it was like their mother or whatever, they just could have told you like, look, they got too much going on. I don't want you getting caught up with my son and it, you know, be an issue. You know, he's not responsible. He keeps repeating lessons. He keeps going through this. He's dealing with this. Like whoever it is, they kind of warned you. But then things were like working out. Things were good between you guys. Um, and I feel like, you know, you could have kind of like pulled them on in the beginning. But now, y'all are right where they said y'all would be. Or y'all are dealing, just dealing with a lot of issues or whatever. So let's see. contact meeting each other keeping in touch good communication so somebody is definitely trying to reach out somebody is trying to make contact with you we have self-focus take a break from dating being single for a while no sex for now so some of you guys could be just focusing on yourself you know and now this person is trying to come back but then now they change their mind hmm. scrutiny questioning your partner finding fault suspicious behavior so remember I said with the magician there, there's something that's going on in their life that they don't want you to know about that they're like, I feel like they're not sure about it, you know, so they don't hundred percent have the answer just yet. Um, for some of you guys, it's a, you know, they're keeping a pregnancy a secret. Then like I said, for others, you, others of you, someone has a strong influence on your person. Like, you know, like they are really good at getting in their head, getting in their ears, stuff like that. We have past life. Resolving karma, unfinished business, working on old issues. So you and this person could have some type of past life. Um, or had a past life. What well, you guys know about me? We're together. I knew each other from a past life. Sorry, y'all. And y'all could be resolving karma in this lifetime. There could be some unfinished business. Maybe y'all were meant to reconnect in this lifetime. Or you guys are working on old issues from the past life. So let's get one more card for you, Scorpio. We have triggered. Feeling provoked. Sparking emotions need to respond okay so i feel like you are going to be triggered by the situation because i feel like you're going to be like okay well um let's see yeah because i feel like you guys are going to be triggered because you're on my like, why did you come in just to change your mind Let's see what are they hiding from you. See, they have some secret here. Mm -hmm. And it has to do with somebody that they had sex with. And the wands. They could have hooked up with this person or whatever, but they this is a sexual energy. A lot of sexual energy. Um, let's see. They could have told you they haven't been with nobody since y'all broke up. They weren't talking to nobody. That's a lie. Um, but like I said, for others of you, it could be somebody that came in between you guys that caused problems between you guys. They were hooking up with them or dealing with them. Could be a Capricorn or a Pisces. See, look, the Empress. Pregnancy resulted in this for some of you. For some of you, not all of you. Mm-hmm. And with the High Priestess, some of you guys feel it. Some of you guys know or feel like there's some type of pregnancy here or they're lying. Now, for some of you guys, for some of you... Scorpio, just a small few. Some of you guys hooked up with somebody after y'all broke up, and they feel like you're lying about it, like being theirs or like the timing. 
you know, the time, like, you know, the timing, something like that. But you strongly know and believe that it's theirs. You guys went back, you looked at, you know, the dates, and you're like, no, I'm sure. Yeah, see, they feel like it was you. They feel like you were messing around. Yeah, they feel like something isn't adding up. They feel like you manipulated, you lied. For now, for some of you guys, they did do something and you did something. I'm just going to leave it there. Not for all of you guys, but they messed around and did some dumb shit. And you were like, okay, you can do it. I'm going to do it. Like, you know, not saying that you did it on purpose, you know, or because they did it. But y'all did y'all thing. They did something. Y'all both did something. And I'm going to say that. But for others of you, um, they're lying about a relationship. Or like, like not a relationship, sorry. They're lying about being in well, I guess a relationship or they're just lying about being with this person or hooking up with this person. I'll say that. Yep, see, they're lying about it. Seven of Swords. And it's for some of you guys, it's somebody that they know for a long time. They know longer than you. And they keep telling you that they want nothing to do with that person. They walked away. They walked away for good. That person can't do nothing for them or get them nothing. They only deal with that person for their child or, you know, that's just a friend. It's not what you think. We would never be, we would never, like, have a relationship, something like that. Yeah, that's who it is. Mm. So it's also telling me that this person is with this person when y'all are not together or when y'all don't get along. Mm -hmm. And their family knows something that you don't know. So why mom or whoever is trying to smile on your face or somebody trying to smile on your face, they know more to the story. They know something more, like they know more is going on. Remember, they like they go to this person, they talk to this person. See, there somebody knows that they were giving in to somebody else, and that there could possibly be a pregnancy or a baby, or that they were trying to get back with an ex or a family member or something like that. But I'm gonna tell y'all this too: it's a lot of twists and turns, a lot of twists and turns in this reading, because the person that has a strong influence over them kind of hooked them back up with somebody from their past. So for some of you, their like say their mom, sister, whatever could be still close with the ex girlfriend, the baby mom, the ex wife, something like that, and they kind of like reconnected them in a way. Okay, there's a lot of twists and turns, so you guys got to take what resonates with you. All right. So let's see. Let's see, how will this relationship move forward? Let's see, y'all. Two of Cups, the Emperor, and the Ten of Pentacles. They want to be with you, but I just feel like there's just a lot going on, a lot of confusion. Could be an Aries. I feel like they need to take family, friends, everybody out of y'all business. You know, um, yeah, they need to take everybody out of y'all business. And for those of you that are pregnant, they are the father. You knew that anyway. Yeah, this person's going to realize that they're letting somebody else come in between y'all. And it's going to start stressing them out. And they're going to, like, they're going to realize and wake up like, no, fuck that. Like, no, I got a family. Like, I want to be with them. I want to be with Scorpio. I want to really work things out. Why am I listening to her, them, him? You know, they're going to they're gonna wake up. They're going to have a wake-up call. They're going to realize. Why is the emperor here? Yep, see. They're, like, the two of cups in reverse to the three of cups. That's you guys coming back together. Like, this is somebody, like, rethinking. Like I said, like, why would I let go? Why would I... You know, I really want to be with Scorpio. I want to, I want to work it out. What am I thinking? So, it's, it's a, like I said, a lot of twists and turns in this reading. Okay, but you guys will seem to work it out if that's what you guys are wanting. Are they're gonna want to work it out with you guys? Not to say you gotta take their asses back, Scorpio. Not saying that. Never say that. But I'm just saying a lot of shit is going on. There's too much going on. Yeah. But I don't like how they had a change of heart.
All right, let's see, Scorpio. We have boom, boom room. There's a meeting in my bedroom. All right, so y'all gonna have some good makeup sex, living my best life. I'm not stressing, don't have any drama, and I'm happy as fuck. So some of you guys are gonna just be like, you know what, with or without you, I'm living my best life. I don't need you. Some of you guys are gonna have makeup sex. Some of you guys, you're putting your money first. It says, it says right now, money and work are my main priorities, love is second. So for some of you, since you, you know, since things didn't work out and that person was playing games, you guys are going to be like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to focus on me and my money. Uh-oh, we have community sex. So yeah, I told you they had sex with somebody else. And the person they had sex with could be somebody that has sex with multiple people. You know, are you going to find out that they had sex with somebody in the community or somebody that you know? We have vibes. Taste, uh, no, I'm sorry. It says talks good, looks good, tastes good. Let's see. It says, I'm working on me. I had to learn to love myself. So some of you guys, you're going to start really focusing on you, you know, especially when they pull this, this bullshit that they're pulling. That's why I said a lot of twists and turns. Right, give me three Archangel and Michael messages for Scorpio. So we have trust the guidance you are receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Okay, so let's see. We have the way forward is open, number 32. You are not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. It says, your prayers are being answered, number 42. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will soon come. Although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. All right, so you guys got a lot of... Um, Blessings coming in. The way forward is the way to go. At the bottom we have, wow, this is a blessing in disguise, number 33. And this keeps coming out for the zodiac signs. So universe must be about to bless all the zodiac signs. It says, be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come in far better than you dare to dream. Okay? So something that you won't you've been wanting is gonna come in, but it's gonna be Fire. It's going to be amazing, y'all. Okay? So that is your reading, Scorpio. Um, again, sorry about the little interruption with the text or whatever. Um, but other than that, this is your reading. I hope it resonated. If it does, share your girl some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book, fireintuition.com. Alrighty? Bye, loves.